Like it lingers, it feels like, it just smells like conditioner. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and to everyone new, thanks for joining me today. Today's video is going to be a foundation and primer review for the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation and I also tested out the CoverGirl True Blend uh, Primer, this is the pore minimizing one. If you want to know how it wear and how I wore it, then keep on watching. So I already moisturized. So I already moisturized my face. I'll link everything down below. Not link, but like list. Yeah, I'll list everything down below. Um, I did pick up both the primer and the foundation. The primer is the CoverGirl True Blend Pore Minimizing Powder. I mean, primer. There's different ones. There was like the green one for like, you know, reducing redness. Uh, I think there was a matte one. I'm not sure. I think it was like four different kinds. <coughs> This from Walmart retailed for $8.42. They're both $8.42. $8.42. It's just an odd number. $8.42. Jason's coming up. One second. Hey, baby. Hello. You just want to put your head in there. Just the two. Just the two. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Okay. I got the pore minimizing one because my issue is just the pores here and my nose. I did um, a blackhead head extraction and now like my nose is like really big. Like the holes in my nose, they won't go away. I tried the whole like ice thing, it's not going away. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to do this on one side of my face. We'll do it on this side because this is the more problematic area. You, you can see this side. I don't know. I'll just do it on this side. And then this side, should I do no primer or with my usual primer? I'll do my usual primer. So basically this whole summer I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. I really like it. I like the consistency of it. It feels like a lotion, but it just kind of like <clears throat> just dries on your skin right away. Like it doesn't linger and get slick or whatever. But I'm going to put this on this side and this on this side. So I don't really put it all over my face though. I kind of just kind of work it. I'm just in this area and then my under eye a little bit. This isn't really pore minimizing. It's just a matte finish. It says blurs, um, but I just like the, the feel of it on the face. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like not that slick, oily type of primer. And it dries right away, like it sets right away. So this is one of my favorite primers. CoverGirl True Blend Base Business. It's like really thin. It smells like shampoo. Yeah, it smells like shampoo. Yeah, it's a very thin, almost... Oh, this scent. I feel like I'm literally rubbing conditioner on my face. Oh my god. I hope it don't break me out. I'm just gonna work this in. I don't see a difference. I don't see any pore minimizing. Oh my god, the scent is giving me a headache. This little guy right here hurts so bad. It's the, just a tiny little pimple, but it hurts so bad. This one's healing. This is healing and... I have that to cover up. So we have we have some work to do. Like it lingers. It feels like it, it smells like conditioner. Anyway, so I'm just gonna let that set. So the foundation I got, it was pretty hard to swatch it in stores, but I got it in soft tan um, M50. Uh, when I swatched it, initially it was really light. Let me show you. It does come with a pump, and the pump does lock. It says, Comfort Matte Finish, Oil-Free Formula, Pump Applicator Included. Comfort Matte Transfer Resistance is what got me. I am looking for something that I can wear and hug my kids with and smother them without transferring makeup. You know, mommy struggles. Let's go. When I initially pump it, oh, it's locked. It's very light. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to give you the middle finger. It's so light to the face, but as I was blending it out in the store on my hand, it just looked like a really good match, right? So we're gonna work with it. And then I left it on my hand for a while as I continued to shop around the store and it settled down into a really nice, like almost velvet finish. Like it was so soft and I was really excited to use it. Actually, it feels really good right now on my hand. 
I'm gonna start with the brush. I'm not gonna do the whole brush one side and sponge one side thing. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the brush and if I don't like it, I'm gonna go over it with the, this is the Real Technique sponge. One pump. And by the way, this, the brush I'm using is the Morphe G6. And I'll start with this side. This is the CoverGirl primer side. And we are going to tap, tap, tap. I like to tap out my foundation. This is one of my favorite foundation brush. I know it's a lot going on with Morphe and Jaclyn right now, but I like their brushes. This is going on pretty nice. It's like a medium. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye. It's a medium finish, like high medium. Coverage, I meant, not finish. And, oh my god, this smells too. It smells just like the primer. I'm gonna break out. It feels very lightweight. It really feels like I'm not putting anything on. It's not covering that, but it's okay. So I did finish that whole one pump. It was uh, a pretty thick consistency when I pumped it out. The shade, I think I did good. I'm gonna go ahead and go over just a little bit with my sponge. Just a little tap, tap, tap. To smooth everything out this looks really good it looks like like really natural I am liking it all right we're gonna do the other side real quick the scent kind of lingers a little bit I'm hoping I'm hoping not for long because it's really giving me a headache the coverage is like high medium it's not full of coverage besides the scent I don't think I have anything else bad to say about it I really like this you guys it looks natural like it just looks like second skin I know you can still see a little bit of redness and stuff and this guy don't want to get covered but I'm I like this type of coverage it just looks more natural like the, instead of that whole matte um, full coverage mask looking type of foundation hold on I got something in my eye it hasn't settled or dried down yet it still feels wet and sticky so I'm gonna give it a little bit. Um, how about we do a second layer to see if we can build it without it, you know, looking funky. I'm gonna do some on my cheek. As far as the prime primer goes, I don't see a difference on either side. They both look the same. It doesn't seem to be oxidizing, I don't think. It looks lighter as it's drying down than it does wet. Um, so I think it's just, you know, like sharing out as you're applying it. I think it's layering on really nice. I'm just gonna go over with my sponge now. My face is actually starting to burn. And I think it's from the scent. Oh, I did such a good job picking out my shade. And it did give me a little bit more coverage, not too much, but I still like the finish of it a lot. But here we go. Um, I. I really like it I think it looks really good and it feels um, it doesn't feel heavy besides like the burning sensation that I'm getting right now it doesn't feel heavy like I'm wearing foundation but I'm gonna let this settle for a little bit let's see how long it takes to dry down before I put on the rest of my face um, and then I'll be right back all right you guys I am back with my full face I started my makeup saying I'm not gonna do too much. It's Sunday, Sunday. it's raining. I'm not doing anything, I'm not going anywhere. And then I got carried away because it's been a while since I wore makeup. I think it's been like, um, it's been like a month now since I've worn lashes and they're looking kind of funky like this one, I got glue, it's not, mm -mm. it's not cute but. As for the foundation, I really like it. It didn't settle down, like it didn't dry down. Um, I gave it like a good three, four minutes. I did my brows and I touched my face and it was still kind of tacky and wet. So I did have to set it. I set it with the Peach Perfect Loose Powder, mattifying loose setting powder. You know, I, I've been using this like this whole summer. Um, but everything else went out good. It didn't oxidize. It didn't break apart on me. It still feels very lightweight. I love the finish. I think this might be my favorite, new favorite foundation so far. Um, however, I might have to go get a lighter shade for my winter months because today is the first day of, of fall and I'm only going to get lighter from here. Like it's matching me really good right now, but let me show you my chest. Like my chest is really white, so I might have to go get my winter shade. But um, besides the fact that the scent was so strong, I don't smell it anymore, but it lingered for a while. Besides the fact that the scent was so strong. 
Uh, I don't have anything else bad to say about it. It's I like this foundation. I'm gonna do a flash test for you guys and then I'll see you at the end of the day. I'm gonna try to wear this as long as possible. Right now it's about 11 o'clock and yeah. I forgot to test out the transfer resistant aspect of the foundation but I have other stuff on my face so I'm gonna try to just see of this part right here because the only thing i have right here is the translucent powder the peach perfect one so we're gonna see if it person 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 nothing but not i'm a i'm a swipe just lightly because when i'm smothering the kids with kisses i'm, I'm not like tapping them you know so i'm just gonna oh just a little bit just a little bit but not not too much so we'll see the end of the day all right you guys this is the end of the night it is about 9 30 i've had this foundation on since 11 this morning so was that 10 and a half hours now um i have school in the morning so i cannot i gotta go to sleep um, but and you can probably see like my eye makeup is gone all of that is gone I pulled my lashes off right after I, I filmed this morning and then I went to my sister's house we planned a lash tint a lash lift it didn't work out that's why my my eye makeup is gone but everything else I kept on for you guys I know I look a little crazy but let's look at the foundation um, the foundation did good. I asked my sister how my foundation was and she said it looked the same as when she first saw me. And that was like around 1 o'clock. I got to her house at 1 and I asked her around 7. So like she initially saw me at 1 and then like 6 hours later, 7 o'clock, I asked her and she said uh, my foundation looked the same as when she first saw me. So I think that's a good thing and it looks really good to me. It's not emphasizing like my textured skin. It's not emphasizing like my wrinkles too uh, too much. I mean, I'm going like this right now, and so then I want to say that it's not. I didn't emphasize like my my wrinkles, my fine lines here in my eyes, but there's no product there, so I can't really tell you that um, unless you want to believe my word that it didn't. <laughs> but oh, my lipstick is all gone. Um, I think it looks really good as far as the primer. I don't see the difference between pore wise or mat mattifying wise. I don't think. This one says that it mattifies. Oh, it does. Vis visibly reduces and bl blurs pores while mattifying shine. It says fragrance free, y'all. Why? Oh my god, does the foundation say fragrance free? Because why would it say that? It's full of fragrance. This doesn't say it on the bottle. It's full of fragrance. What do they mean fragrance free? Anyways, I don't see a difference between these two foundation. I mean primer. I'm going to continue using this. This is cheaper than this one. Um, and if they work the same, then I might just go ahead and use this. Well, no. I'll, I'll use this up, but I don't think I'll repurchase it because of the scent. But um, this is like, I think $12, $14 or something like that. Um, and anyways, the foundation. So it's starting to break apart on my lip. My nose, I was going like this all day because it's raining and the, my nose was stuffy all night. Um, it's breaking apart right in the nose area there. But I I still like it. Like I can touch up with this and be on my way, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and blot. Before I do any powder touch up, I like to blot the oils off first because if you're putting um, powder on top of all that oil it will just look really cakey you know I'm gonna take this is me me Mac um, mineralized skin finish I think the powder on top of it did a pretty good job so I don't know if that works out for you if you want to touch up or need to touch up my contour my blush my highlighter is still there Mm hmm besides the nose and this part breaking off but it's, again it's ten and a half hours later so I think I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna go and get my winter shade I'm going to continue to use the primer but I don't think I'll repurchase I'll probably smell the other ones I think there's four of them total there's like a green one like a peachy salmon one a white one 
don't know what the white one was for and then the purple one this one and that's the end of my video how am I how do I usually end my videos what the freak why am I going blank right now I'm so tired um I'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> give it a thumbs up let me know what else you want to see or, or or you want me to review and yeah if you don't know I vlog every day I upload every day my vlog channel is back up it's always linked down below so you want to know what I've been up to um check it out <laughs> anyways bye guys good night